All right, height of livers, great name. Whoa, even the guide has Duke AI. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. At least he can't hurt me, right? So we don't gotta worry about him. Look at him go. What a cool guy. <laughs> what a cool guy. Yeah, you keep doing that, all right? Maybe he can help me out. Oh, do they go into like phase two? Bro, this is amazing. I love this. <laughs> I hope we don't see any real enemies. That's gonna take the, the fun out of it. I'm gonna die in like a second if we see some real enemies. Oh, it's a slime. Yo, Loki, that slime is getting closer. He is going through the wall. That's not good. I need like the guide and that slime to the fight. Duke Fishron with Duke Fishron AI. Double the Duke. It's all good. We got Dukey Dylan here. I like how the guide is like all the way down here. <laughs> He's just chilling down here with me. I need to get some slime, which means I need to fight one of these things, dude. Oh shit. I asked for it. I asked for it. At least it doesn't do Duke damage. Oh god, do you see that how it like sits still? I think it's because it's going into the second phase. Oh, this is bad. Motherfuckers kind of hurt, bro. I don't got that kind of damage. Oh, you're going into phase two. I'm out of here. That was fucking close. So I need a, I need a better sword. The stabbing is not going to work. Maybe we get some cactus armor. That'll deflect a lot. The challenge shouldn't be too bad. I'll probably give up, honestly. <laughs> Fighting the king slime with Duke AI. I might give up on that when we get to it. I'm dead. I'm calling it right here. I'm dead. Ah. That block is saving me. That block that he's stuck on is saving me. Oh. 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 I'm going to kill him. He's going to die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get him while he's going into phase two. That's how we get him. They got that little pause where they... I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> At least they all like fly away when I when I die, right? I think we need to get a safe house here at spawn. You sure you thought this challenge through, bro? I've if you've seen some of the challenges I've gone through, like you'll really notice that a lot of these challenges I do really aren't that bad. Okay, I don't like that they go through walls. So maybe even having a safe house. Did he go through the wall? Okay, they do go through walls. That's a little bit annoying. It's like a inconsistent how often they go through the walls too. If I get a little armor on me, you know, get a little defense, it's nothing. Cause right now it's just like it's literally just slime contact damage that I'm dealing with. Yeah, I really need like a better defense. We get like a better weapon. Like what would be the best weapon? Other than uh rocking cactus armor. I think cactus armor is gonna be S tier for this. I'm not even gonna be able to leave a spawn. Once we get through this beginning, that when they're like changing what phase they're in, that's like when we got to strike. That's when we get the open opportunity. All right, now that I have torches, I can actually come down here. All the pirate NPCs have the worst name. Mine is named Wetbeard. Bro, that's a pirate theme name. Ooh, worst name. What the hell do you want his name to be? Nathaniel the pirate? Jonathan the pirate? What do you want his name to be? What's a little snail gonna do to me? Oh, bat might actually be kind of scary. What the fuck was that? Piranha? A piranha be hitting you like that? What was that? Like a 50, 60 I got hit by? That shit hurt. That shit really did hurt. Oh god, this is gonna be hell on earth. This part is gonna be hell on earth. Nighttime, bruh. I gotta get inside the caves right away. What do I happen to the guide? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Chilling somewhere in the wall. Yo, the good thing about this is that like I can see everywhere. Like these dudes are lighting up the caves for me. Uh oh. Piranha. Last time we fought a piranha, he kinda got killed. Okay, hold up. That skeleton is gonna kill me as soon as I step foot down here wait we might have his ass yeah, no 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 get his ass get his ass oh yes see we use that transformation he's going into phase two i gotta jump his ass while he's doing it tell us about the one time you held a pet smart at gunpoint no, i don't remember that story you're gonna have to catch me up on that one can't tell stories about school toilets because i don't be shitting in them that's fat that's facts on God. 100 emote. I don't like this. I don't want to be here. Can it be daytime? This dude said 1v1 Chippy for a video. I am not going to contact Chippy, take time out of his day to PvP in Terraria. I would rather fucking eat my own shit than do that. Waste my time playing PvP in Terraria. PvP in Terraria is the most dog shit feature. One time I was changing in the school bathroom and someone poured chocolate milk all over me. How the fuck are you changing in your school bathroom? There was a dude taking a dump at my school. 
that's the whole story. <laughs> I would rather shit in school bathrooms than play Terraria PvP. Exactly. Someone shoved a goldfish in the toilet with a ham sandwich. Interesting. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, like, why do piranhas hit so fucking hard? I'm playing normal mode. Keep that in mind. The AI is not affected, like, the Duke Fishron AI is not giving them, like, more damage or anything. That's just the piranhas hit hard as fuck. If they didn't go through walls, this would not that this would not be that bad. But they do go through walls, and that makes it a little bit tougher. Imagine if I played on like expert or uh, master for this. I would literally be dead every time one charged at me. Game Raiders, did you know some men can genuinely fuck themselves? Be careful with your words. I'm doing it. I'm finding the desert. We find this cactus armor. It's gonna help. It's not gonna help that much, but like. I feel like I've already put in too much effort. Oh, that's not good. How am I not hitting him? I feel like I put in too much effort to find it already. Can I make that throw? Absolutely not. Gives you more of a reason to never use ropes because they're fucking trash. <laughs> or the throwable rope coils. Oh my god. Frost Golem with Duke AI? Well, I don't think the Frost Golem will shoot. What's like the hardest hitting contact damage enemy? If you combine that with this AI, that's that's where things could get bad. Dungeon Guardian? Well, I think the regular Dungeon Guardian AI. Pretty, pretty deadly itself. Duke AI. <laughs> Duke AI with Duke AI. Yo, look. Uh, Rubies is almost our highest gem right now. It's tied with Amethyst. Who would have thought? What kind of world am I living in where I have as many Rubies as I do Amethyst? That's crazy. That's RNG, bro. What would I do if I figured out that all my viewers were the same dude with multiple accounts? I don't know. Thank them. What, what else would I do? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't think that long of a fall would kill me. 88 damage? I'm eating this just so I can run faster. Go, go, go! 57 damage? That was like an eight block fall, bro. Oh my God. Bro, I swear the fall damage in Terraria is so fucking random. There'll be times where you take fall damage, you take like one or two damage. And there'll be other times you take fall damage, you take like 90. It's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> that was not that high of a fall compared to what we just fell. Like I fell like 20 ropes. I feel like eight blocks right there. I took 50 damage. Like, God damn. You just got like a random number multiplier when it comes to fall damage. I'm dead. If it touches me, I'm dead. Ah! Oh my God. <gasps> Quick, loot it. Oh my God, it's a star fury. And why am I not looting all faster? Holy shit. No! Okay, actually, I feel safer that it's Duke AI rather than... Oh, never mind. I felt safer for a second. What do I do anymore? Do I still look for this fucking... What am I... I don't even know what I'm looking for. <laughs> what am I looking for? Do I still look for this desert armor? Or do I give up on it? We got a great weapon now. I can't complain about my weapon. I still think a flail would be pretty S tier. I just need to get the armor. As soon as I get the armor, we chilling. What even is Duke AI? What do you mean, what even is Duke AI? Do you play Terraria, bro? Someone asked me if I play Terraria. Do you play Terraria? Gamers tell, gamers, tell us the story when you shoved a Funko Pop up your ass. That hasn't happened yet. Well, that hasn't happened and it's never going to happen. I don't know why I said yet. This dude said, I have 600 hours in Terraria. Yes, I play. Then why are you asking what is Duke AI? Don't go to the ocean. It will get worse. How? How will it get worse? The only thing I can see being that bad in the ocean is a shark. The sharks, obviously, they hit hard. Those are probably one of the higher hitters. If you ever try to shove something up your ass, no. Cactus armor, yes, sir. Uh oh. All right. Well, I think I am officially declaring I give up on the Duke armor. <laughs> or not the Duke armor, the cactus armor. I officially declare retiring from doing that objective. Uh, I try my best. I try my best. This is great having a star fury this early. So this is this is one thing that I really like about Terraria and dislike at the same time. Is when you get like something really rare early on. Because like 90% of the playthroughs, you'll get something rare. But like you can't even use it anymore because like you're in hard mode. Say if I get like a Terragrim, I find a Terragrim, but I find it in hard mode. Or if I get like a rare drop from an enemy, that would be awesome if I had it pre-hard mode. But now I'm in hard mode, so it's fucking useless. Like I got the Star Fury right at the beginning of the game. This is useful. You know what weapon I want to get early? I want to get the Gladius early. Gladius, you know, it's a newer weapon. It's a 1.4 weapon. Never gotten it yet. 
Actually, maybe gotten it once, but I think y'all I was in like master mode, hard mode. I want to get a Gladius like at the start of the game, cause the Gladius, what is that? Just like a fucking really strong uh, short sword. So when the hell is it gonna be useful at the beginning of the game? Imagine getting it like midway through hard mode or something. Nobody's fucking putting the Gladius in their inventory midway through hard mode, midway through pre-hard mode even. Ha! Fuck it, we're you saw the reaction time though. I know y'all saw the reaction time. I jumped as soon as I heard it. I would have jumped over it. You ever found the Arcalis legit? I found the Arcalis pre 1.4. Yeah, I found it a couple times legit. What if someone came in his room and kisses Game Raiders? Would you retaliate? Talking about me? Would I retaliate? Does it look like I'm wearing like construction gear, bro? Hey, it looks like I'm wearing like a, a construction outfit. Fight back! Fight back, bitch! Get him! Oh, it's fine. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be down there. It's all good. I didn't want to be down there. I didn't want to be down there, alright? I chose to not be down there, so that's why I died. I actually killed myself on purpose, if you think about it. So technically, not a skill issue. I chose... I didn't want to be alive right there, honestly. I chose to die right there because, you know, there's a lot of mobs. So by me dying, they would despawn. So technically, not a skill issue. Bro, we're gonna get a graveyard soon. Hold up. <laughs> Getting the fuck out of here. So when you guys like say that I die and I have a skill issue, you gotta think that I'm thinking ahead, all right? Yeah, keep that in mind that I'm always like so far ahead in my thinking that like I died on purpose most of the time. I choose to die because that's how far ahead I am. Like I kind of need to go back to spawn soon. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe I'll die soon just so I can drop some stuff off. You know, always thinking ahead. Watch the boomerang. Oh, you saw the plan there though, right? Oh, it worked. See, now this is fucking five head. You can't say skill issue in this. You can do something like this. Ooh. Oh, shit. Wait, he's gonna transform. He's gonna transform. Who else actually uses a boomerang like normally how it's supposed to be used? When I die to a boss, it's not because I'm bad. It's because I just don't feel like fighting the boss anymore. That's facts. I think a lot of people don't understand that. When I give up on a challenge, it's not me giving up. It's me saving energy for the next challenge. Because this challenge, you know, it just doesn't interest me anymore. I want to move on to the next I'm no longer interested, so I should not waste time doing the challenge anymore. It's not really a loss. It's more of a being smart about the future, you know what I'm saying? Tactical withdrawal. Oh, shit. God damn, you know, I kind of want to go to spawn. <laughs> hey, I'm running low on these potions. I should have saved them. Shroomerang? Bro, I never get shroomerangs in regular playthroughs. Of course I get it in a playthrough I don't care about. It's always in the playthroughs I don't care about I get them. Can't spell skill without kill, exactly. Who's smarter, Albert Einstein or Game Raiders? Come on. You think Albert Einstein can beat Moon Lord? Exactly. No, oh, no, I wanted to go to spawn. No math equation is helping Albert Einstein beat the Moon Lord, or whatever the fuck the equation he made. E equals MC squared. That's not helping you beat the Moon Lord, bro. I'll let you know right now, Mr. Albert. Mr. Stein, if that is your real name. At the end of Endgame, it should have been like, Iron Man will not be returning to <laughs> the next Avengers. That would have been brutal if they said that at the end. Captain America will not be returning for the next Avengers. What is that? It's a salamander? Why am I not attacking? I'm dead. I like I can't be down here for more than like 10 seconds. I bet there's gonna be a new Terry update in the next four to eight years. There's gonna be a new Terry update literally in like the next month, bruh. What you mean four to eight years? They literally confirmed there's gonna be an update. Dude, talking about four to eight years. Come on, real. Keep up with your Terraria news. How you watch Terraria content creators but don't even know the news? I can't be the only one that thinks that I would survive a hit from the Zenith, right? I feel like I, I could take like a full like four or five hits from the Zenith. Because I, I'm just being honest, I'm built like that, so. I don't know about some of y'all, but I, I, I'm built different. I, I would take a couple hits from the Zenith. I could probably take a couple hits from the Daytime Empress of Light too, if I'm being honest. But that's just me, you know? I know some of y'all aren't built like that. Like, if the Zenith were to hit me, it would just bounce off of me. Russia? I wanna live in Russia so I can use it. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to head back to spawn, you know? There's some stuff I needed to do at spawn, so I needed to kill myself. Uh, it's faster to kill yourself rather than using the magic mirror. I have one other idea that might be helpful. This might be a two-parter challenge because I do actually want to beat it, but it's gonna it's gonna take some effort to do it. I think if I use the minecart strategy, I think honestly we could beat the King Slime, no problem. I just need to be tanky enough. Bro, okay, we get it. We got the fucking frost blade already. We get it, we got it. You don't gotta give me two more. Throwing was like a top five class when it was still around, that's facts. Oh!
first ice blade poggers any second now literally dead any second now i'm dead <laughs> yeah that, that dude's sleeping and he's trying to go after me look at him okay i, I can see why that guy said don't go to the beach they do actual duke fish run attacks at the beach i understand now why i was warned like look at that that's how i fight everything I, I i take damage and then i hit it like i trade blows i don't think it's gonna be uh that easy to trade blows against the king slime seven feelings it's not gonna be that easy you wake up wake up wake up wake up wait i'm not supposed to be here oh shit <laughs> oh shit what the fuck i keep forgetting not to come over here all right i guess we just go for it and just hope for the best i mean like what else am i gonna do do i really want to play longer not really kind of just want to end this challenge off you know whether we win it or not kind of just want to move on all right let's do it let's see what happens we gotta apply obviously the minecart strat because maybe this minecart strat is a game changer and i'm already missing a majority of my health all good all good ow ow now my question is does he teleport Bro, if we just didn't take damage every time we came around that side, we'd be chilling. Like, this is doable if we don't take damage when we come on that left side. Hell no, I'm jumping over you. This is doable. This is doable. Clutch up, clutch up. Hit those shots, Game Raiders. Hit those shots, Game Raiders. He's a god at what he does. He's the best Terraria player to exist. Easy W. I had my doubts, but then I remembered who I was. Game Raiders 101. <laughs> I remembered who he was, and we took the W. That was scary, too, because contact, he was doing, what, like three or four whole hearts every time we hit him. That could have got bad. If I hit him every time, every time, if I hit him every time I came around here, it was an L right away. It was an L. Some light, no, some light, some light. Gamers 101, dub, dub, taker 101. Put up the W's, come on, put up the W's. 